This video is brought to you by Graphic Stock. Hey, what's up guys? Steve from Cult of Mac here, and leaked photos of what's claimed to be Apple's next generation MacBook Pro pretty much confirm the rumours that it will ship with a new OLED touchpad above its keyboard. The images sent to Cult of Mac also hint at four USB-C connectors. We've recently covered rumours on our site from reliable KGI securities analyst Ming Ji Ku, promising that Apple will introduce this OLED touchpad to the MacBook Pro lineup in the third quarter of this year, along with a thinner form factor and butterfly keys which are found on the current MacBook, as opposed to the scissor mechanism on the current MacBook Pros. The photos sent in to us from an anonymous source who claims to work for one of Apple's manufacturing partners in China reveal a new cutout above the MacBook Pro's keyboard where the function keys would normally sit, that could house the new OLED touchpad. There are a ton of reasons why adding an OLED touchpad to the MacBook Pro is a great idea, such as being able to customise those function keys to swap out shortcuts you don't use for ones you will, or even adding shortcuts for specific apps such as Photoshop. I bet there's at least one function key that you never use, so imagine swapping that out for something you would use, to say launch Spotify or another app. The only problem I have with adding these shortcuts to the top is that I already know the traditional shortcuts for certain apps, say Photoshop or After Effects so switching these to the OLED touchpad at the top would take a bit of getting used to. From the leaked images, it looks like the touchpad might have a lip that slips into a smaller hole on the left side of the cutout to keep it in place. The hole on the right side appears to contain three pins, which likely connects the touchpad to the logic board. These photos also suggest that almost all of the connectors on the machine would be replaced by USB-C ports, with two on the left and two on the right, with the only other port appearing to be a headphone jack. It's hard to tell from these photos whether the new MacBook Pro will be any thinner but it doesn't look significantly slimmer than the current model. Although it looks like the speakers have been moved to either side of the keyboard to make room for that OLED touchpad. Whereas on existing models, the speakers are located at the back of the keyboard. Other rumors have also pointed towards the new MacBook Pro having the addition of Touch ID to get rid of those annoying but necessary passwords. The MacBook Pro lineup is definitely in need of a refresh, with the latest updates coming over a year ago, with the only new additions being the Intel Haswell processors, up to 16 gig of RAM, and the Force Touch trackpad. Well, that's it for this video, but let me know in the comments down below what you think of the OLED touchpad. Is it something that you'd use? Is it not enough of an update for the MacBook Pro lineup? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd also like to take a quick minute to thank our friends and sponsors over at graphicstock.com. Graphicstock is the place to go for unlimited access to premium stock images that anyone can afford. Thanks to their subscription-based model with unlimited daily downloads from over 100,000 photos, vectors, illustrations and more. So, if you're a graphic designer, photographer, or even video creator, there's tons of resources for you to use, which are all 100% royalty free. So, sign up for your free 7 day trial at graphicstock.com forward slash x forward slash cult of Mac. Until next time, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below, and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.